Okay, so what we're going to start off with here is we're going to start explaining the Drawing Style Manager interface. So the Drawing Style Manager interface can be described into four different regions. You've got your control bar down the left, your tree structure in the middle, your data pane on the right, which is related back to your tree structure, and you've got your controls at the top of the um, window. Okay, They're like your navigation style controls. Um, down the left you have drawing styles, model objects, annotation strategies and dimension requests. This will get covered in later topics. But as you can see, there is uh, a tree structure here divided into advanced and into user. Um, the user is the user drawing styles, which is stored in your Aster add-in database. Um, the advanced is your Aster details database, which is stored in your steel folder. And if you have, if you have multiple countries installed, you will have uh, other Asta details in Steel US, Steel Germany folder, and so on. Okay, the tree structure is broken up into such that you have a um, folder structure for your different types of drawing styles, and under each one is your drawing styles. And as you expand the tree out you'll see more and more data relating back to the drawing styles. As you pick on anything on the left in the tree, it populates the pane on the right. As you can see, it changes for different varying levels of your selection. Okay. Up the top here, we have properties. Then we've got the use button. The use button is the same as the use button down the bottom, which is the way you would apply a drawing style to a view, to a part, to an assembly. Um, you have new, which will create you a new folder. You have copy, which allows you to copy something. Um, we have deep copy, which as a rule of thumb, we try never to use. Delete. Then you have export, import, and compact database. You also have some ways of navigating up and down the tree by using the left and right arrows and the up arrow here as opposed to clicking in the actual tree itself. 